Hello guys and welcome back to another video. We are back in the BMW 130i and we are back working on this N52 engine. Now then, today I want to remove, inspect and attempt to clean the Vanos check valves or the Vanos non-return valves, whatever you want to call them. I'm at 127,000 miles now. Judging by the condition of the top of my engine right inside of the rocker cover, I'm guessing that these check valves are going to be pretty dirty, so I want to remove them today and try and restore some health back to my Vanos system. If they are clogged up, then they are obviously not working correctly as they should. So I just want to see what kind of condition they're in and uh, attempt to clean them up. So I think without further ado, we'll get outside and uh, let's get cracking. Okay then, so first thing is first, let me actually show you where they are located on the engine. So as you are looking into the engine bay, they are on the left side, also known as the exhaust side. So if you take a look down here, now I really don't think I'm gonna be able to show you with the camera very well, but if you take a look down here, there we are, that is the two non-return valves themselves. Now, as you can see, access really isn't great. It's pretty tight in there to try and get a socket and a ratchet in there. So the easiest thing to do is just to get the car up in the air, get the wheel removed, get the wheel arch liner removed, and then access them that way. Okay, then, so first thing I'm gonna do is get the car up in the air. So I can go ahead and take the wheel off. And now that we have the wheel off, I need to work on getting this wheel arch liner removed. It's just held in by a whole bunch of screws, nuts, and these fasteners. Once I have all these removed, the wheel arch liner should then pull out. Okay then, so as you can see, we now have the wheel arch liner completely removed and it's still not the best access, if I'm honest, but it now means we can get a socket, possibly on a long extension, and just get right up in there to remove those check valves. Now then, to give myself as much room as possible, I'm actually gonna move this bracket which holds these cables in place it's actually just held in by a little e-bolt there i'm not too sure what e-bolt it is but a seven millimeter socket just undoes that quite nicely but once i have that out of the way i should have a little bit better access now i can't remove this pipe it's actually a hard pipe it's for the aircon it goes to the ac compressor just down there um but yeah, I think once I have this bracket out of the way and these cables out of the way, I should have a little bit better access in there. There we go. That's the bolt removed. I can actually just push this bracket out of the way and hopefully I'll be able to get onto these check valves now. Okay, so managed to get the 
ratchet onto both of them. I've cracked them both loose. I'm just slowly removing the top one first. And here we go. Here is the first check valve removed. Yep, that looks pretty dirty to me. We'll just work on getting the second one out and then we'll uh, go ahead and give these a clean up. Okay then, so as you can see, we have both of the check valves removed now. This was the second one that I removed, as you can see. It's actually not in too bad condition, but this is the first one that we, we removed. As you can see, the screen filter is completely clogged up, so we will be giving both of these a good thorough clean. Now when it comes to cleaning the Vanos check valves, there is a lot of different things you can use. I like to use this electrical contact cleaner, but you could of course use carb cleaner or brake cleaner. As long as they are dry by the time that you put them back in, that's all that really matters. But when it comes to cleaning them, I like to first of all just give them a wipe just to get rid of the majority of the dirt built up on them and then essentially what we're going to do with the spray cleaner is spray it inside and get any last remaining pieces out okay then so as you can see this check valve looks relatively clean but i'm pretty sure there is still a whole bunch of a build up in there so that is what i'm going to use the contact cleaner for so I'm just going to go ahead and spray that in there and there we go this thing is a whole lot cleaner both inside and out and now what's left to do is let these dry which won't take long and then we can go ahead and reinstall them back on the car Okay then, so I've actually reinstalled both of the check valves with the T40 socket and I'll just need to torque both of them down to 15 newton meters. That's one. And there's two and there we go then as you can see both are now back in their place and torqued up i'm just going to give that oil there just a quick wipe down and then i need to reinstall this bracket and with this bracket back in place all that's left to do now is reinstall the wheel arch liner and then put the wheel back on and get this thing back on the ground and there we go the wheel is back on the car is back on the ground i have torqued down the wheel bolts all we need to do now is fire up the engine and just make sure we have no leaks Okay then, so that is another job done on this N52 engine. That is both of the Vanos check valves or non-return valves removed and cleaned. And to be honest, they wasn't really in too bad of a condition. Um, but you know, it's always good to keep on top of things. It's always good to keep them clean. And to be honest, I don't think they're that much to replace as well. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of cleaning them, you can just go ahead and, you know, swap them out. I don't think they're that much um, for genuine BMW parts. Um, obviously, I, I didn't have them to hand. Um, and I just thought I would, you know, try and give them a clean. And to be honest, they came up quite well. Um, but obviously, you know, you make up your own mind what you want to do. I have a whole load uh, more things left to do on this engine. I'm actually going to be replacing both of the Vanos solenoids as well. Um, you know, I, again, I don't really have any idea what kind of state um, they are both in. Um, but I'm just going to be swapping them out just for preventative maintenance. You know, when they do uh, clog up, they do, um, you know, limit your... Uh, performance limit the uh, power that your engine can produce 
Um, so it's always good to, like I said, you know, keep on top of things. Um, but yeah, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. Um, clean, removing and cleaning the Vanos check valves is not really um, something that is kind of widely known. You know, there, there is obviously a few people out there who know about this, um, but it's one of them things that BMW don't really put a um, service reminder on. You know, it's just it's just a valve on the side of the engine, I guess. Um, but ensuring that they are nice and clean is going to ensure that your Vanos system is working as it should. Anyway, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next video.